You're bound to see a large surge of videos on this topic today, and that's because there's a serious need to raise money in order to help make a difference in the impact we humans have on the planet's oceans. By no means is this a small feat, and that's why the people at Team Seas are looking to raise $30 million in order to help clean up 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean by organizing beach cleanups and creating boats specifically designed to pick up waste that'll be used in the 1% of rivers that contribute to 80% of the plastic currently in the oceans. So if you'd like to help show your support, head over to TeamSeas.org after watching this video, link in the description, and check out the power of awareness in real time as you keep track of the organization's progress and maybe even donate a bit yourself to help make a healthier planet. Hey everyone, Brennan's back, and today I'd like to discuss a topic that's bound to be getting a lot of coverage, and that's our planet's ocean. We dump 17.6 billion pounds, or the equivalent of nearly 57,000 blue whales, of plastic alone into the seas every single year. It's gotten to the point where there are five infamous trash heaps floating around out there, and the largest, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, includes an estimated 1.8 trillion pieces of trash and covers an area twice the size of the state of Texas. We rely on the ocean for food, medicine, economic stability, recreation, transportation, climate regulation, and even the air that we breathe. So how do we help reduce the impact we humans are having on the ocean? Well, the very first step, and one you may be starting to see having impacts in your very own community, is proper waste management. As previously stated, we dump about 8 million metric tons of just plastic into our oceans every year. So one of the best things we can do as a community is to start to reduce as much of our collective plastic use as we can. You may be starting to see this happening in your very own communities already, as options for bags, straws, utensils, and other small plastic items are defaulted to something more sustainable, making them less harmful to the earth as a whole when throwing them away. Making these kinds of changes in our own homes and recycling whenever we can always helps out as well. Speaking of what goes on in our own homes, even being mindful of what you're flushing down the drain can go a long way in protecting the wildlife at sea. Medicine, wet wipes, cotton balls, floss, cat litter, insecticides, vegetable oil, paint, and many other substances that are harmful to marine life are flushed regularly. So be mindful of where that water you're flushing away will eventually end up. If you're a gardener and live near the ocean, you should be careful about what pesticides, fertilizers, and weed killers you use, as many are harmful to aquatic life. Fertilizer in particular is rather interestingly dangerous in this case, as trace amounts of it gets transferred by wind and rain to other water systems, causing algae to grow rapidly. When this happens, the algae's natural toxins can not only poison marine life, but the algae itself can use up the oxygen in certain areas of water, making it impossible for anything else to survive. These are called dead zones, and there are roughly 500 of them around the globe. Now, this should go without saying, but all you have to do is go to a beach to see that it doesn't. Don't litter. Be responsible for your garbage and throw it away properly, and hold the people that you're with accountable for their own trash as well. And if you see garbage that isn't yours, picking it up costs you seconds and could potentially save the life of another creature that shares this planet with you. Worth considering before just passing it by. But as an individual, there's only so much impact you as a single person can make, so we should always be accountable. It's not just individual consumers who need to watch their plastic consumption. It's local restaurants and global corporations as well. But if we, the consumer, don't make any changes in where and how we spend our money, they, the supplier, will have no incentive to make the change. So find out which companies and businesses employ the best practices when it comes to sustainable actions and which ones don't. Support the businesses that take the extra step to help make sure our happiness isn't coming from the expense of our environment. Also ask how and where they get their seafood from, and find out if they engage in ethical practices to protect the ocean's ecosystem without polluting its water. About 22 million tons of CO2 make its way into the ocean daily, and one of the biggest ways we'll combat that is by supporting businesses that are more mindful of their carbon footprint. So find out if their products are transported locally, which will have a big impact on the amount of fuel needed to ship them. If they don't know, ask them about their suppliers and try doing some research about the practices yourself as a local business owner might not know everything about their vendor, and you may need to use email or social media to find information from a larger corporation. You should also never underestimate the power you have to change things by speaking out about them. If ocean conservation is something you're passionate about, or really conservation of any kind, let your friends and family know about any opportunities they might have to help out. Get involved with your local government and help lobby for people you think represent these goals. Most importantly, Find out if there are any local cleanup groups in your area, especially if you live near beaches, rivers, lakes, or any bodies of water that are regularly subject to pollution. If not, help organize one in your community. Not only will this be a great way to help protect your local environment, it'll give you more involvement with people in your community and help you keep your local landscape looking tidy and beautiful. Besides that, it also helps with the final tip, donating. 
Helping to physically clean up our beaches, lakes, streams, and other waterfronts is a valuable, important way we can help to keep our oceans cleaner. But not everyone is in a location where such efforts are viable. So if you'd still like to do your part, there's several ways you can donate either your time or money to help promote awareness for ocean conservation. You can use the link in the description I mentioned earlier, teamseas.org, to help them towards their $30 million goal, as well as make donations to cleanup groups, conservation groups, research efforts, and education foundations. If you're not rolling in cash, though, don't worry. You can always take the time to do your own research to find out what else you can do to help lessen the negative impact we humans have on the earth and spreading that knowledge around to local businesses, schools, and social media groups. Because honestly, if we want a cleaner, healthier world, it starts with taking the time to talk about why it's important and learning how we're going to make that happen. All right, guys, that'll do it for my take today. If you enjoyed, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and follow the high.